Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland from Graphic in Motion. In this tutorial I want to show you how to customize and use my latest template called the Dynamic Typo Intro. So let's get started with the customization process. The first thing you want to do is to import your logo or your text as you wish. I will just show you how to import the logo first. So you go to File and Import File and then you choose the logo you want to import. And I will just take my Graphic in Motion logo here and then I will go to my logo composition. These compositions should already be open when you open up your project. If not, you can find them also here up in the project window. So open up the logo composition, drag in your logo, put it on top of the placeholder and then just press S and scale it. One important thing when scaling your logo is that your logo stays within the square because if your logo it will be outside of the square then the reveal will not work perfectly so just scale that your logo stays inside this ruler square okay i want to move it a little bit to the top and disable my placeholder i can disable it or also just delete it and now i want to change the position of my tagline here this is only a reference layer you know it will not render from this composition but you can position it with this help layer so I will just move this a little bit up. Let's see how this looks. I think both things are too far on the top. So I will select both layers and move them down a little bit. And the tagline a little bit more, a little closer. And I think this is pretty good. Okay, so now let's move on to the next composition, which is the keywords composition. To customize the text in this template, you only have to customize one line of text. So you can enter keywords or names or a slogan or whatever you want, you know. One important thing to have in mind here is, is that you can stylize your typography a little bit. You, you see what I did here is that I just took uh, one font, which is called the Century Gothic. And Century Gothic has different styles. So it has a, a regular style, it has a bold style, it has an italic style, which I think I used here. And I always separated my keywords, in this case, just with a big I, so, so some kind of a line, you know. And you can write in whatever you want, therefore you just have to double click on the placeholder text and now let's just delete it. And for this example, for my Graphic in Motion intro, I will just type in what I offer and what I do. So I will write motion design and I will make the big I to separate it. Then I will write After Effects templates. I think that's exactly the same as before, but now we will do something else. And now we'll just skip this process and come back to you when I've finished entering all the keywords. Okay, now I've finished to type in all my new keywords. And now I just want to show you how to quickly stylize them. And for this example, I also will choose another font. So I will select my text layer. And then I just will move over to my character window and type in Myriad Pro. Because this font is quite interesting for this kind of styling because it has a lot of styles as you can see here and we will play around with these now a little bit so let's say i want to oops sorry now i created a new text layer i didn't want to do that so i will just get rid of it and now i just want to select the after effects templates and my separation lines and i will set it let's say to bold and I want the intro animation to be or intro animations to be let's say light and the next thing what I want to do is to make promotion videos maybe bold italic or semi bold italic whatever it is okay like this Looks strange but I don't care for now I just will leave it um, then I will move on to the template customization and set this to 
light but not italic or light semi-condensed so that's a little bit narrow yeah that's pretty cool and uh, freelance motion graphics to something bold again maybe this extended stuff here or, or do we have this in bold oh like this and now oops sorry now the last one i will set this to something a little wider like this and this looks quite good to me so in the end here i will also make such a separation eye and i will just make it regular bold so you see now i uh, i didn't i didn't quite fill the whole composition here and actually i really want to do this because otherwise i will have this free space inside my animation later and i don't want this so i want to be sure to fill this up i could type in another keyword or i just can change the scaling of my text which i will do now i will just increase this value here so to fill up the whole composition and when i take a look now you see that it looks quite good and now i can move on to my next composition which is called the tagline composition and the tagline is nothing else than the end titles which fade in if you take a look at the render queue in the end here this is the tagline so we want to enter let's say the web address here so i will set this to full so that you can see it better i will just double click the text layer and now we'll just enter my graphic and motion dot com and i will also separate uh, again with an i a big i and now we'll just write in let's say my video hive video hive profile net slash user slash graphic in motion i think that this is the right one i'm not quite sure and now we will select the myriad pro font again i think it didn't do nothing okay let's select the text and now okay and now i want to make this part bold and this too and the next one i want to make let's say light and extend it okay well now i can go to my render composition and check the final results and when you see that there is the new font and this is everything updated but what i want to do now is to stylize the whole look of the animation so that it fits my logo because if you take a look at the end you know the colors now are a little bit greenish because i made this template of course for the envato logo the placeholder and now i want to change the whole thing that it fits my look and the first thing you can do is to change from a light to dark background so probably if your logo is very bright then you can choose a dark background and this is very simple to do just take a look at the render composition and here you see that you have a beachy light and the beachy dark right now the beachy light is activated and to change that you just deactivate the beachy light and you activate the beachy dark now you also want to change the color setup because now the color setup light is activated and the color setup light just has some darker colors in it so that there is a better contrast with the light background but we want to change this to the color setup dark and you see that now we have some brighter colors in it but these colors are still matched to the Envato logo and i want to change that now but the first thing I want to do is that I want to change the color for the background because you can see that I do not have a real good contrast here from my logo. So I will go to the BG layer and go to layer and solid settings. And I just want to change the color, let's say, to something like um, a little bit of a dark brown like this. Okay. And now I want to change the color setup. And the color setup doesn't only change the tagline, it really changes the whole color uh, from the whole text and the whole animation. So I will just take one frame where you can see a lot of text, like this one. And 
now I will go to my activated color setup, which is the color setup dark. And now I go to my effect controls panel and you see that I have two effects on here and I want to deal with the four color gradient now. So we just toggle the positions and colors. And now you can see that it's more or less a four color gradient built with these four colors. And now I want to change these colors to colors that fit my logo. Therefore, I will use the Adobe Cooler this time. I never used this feature in a tutorial, but this time I want to do it because I think it's a quite a good tool to get some color ranges. And I already searched uh, a color setup which includes black and yellow because this will fit my logo quite good. And so I want to start adding the colors to my gradient. The first thing I want to be aware of is where do I put the colors? So if you choose the point one and you click on this center position thing here, you can see that this is point one. Okay, we don't want to change it. So we leave this alone. And point two is on the right top. Point three is on the left bottom and point four is on the right bottom. So I want to take, let's say, brighter colors to point number one and point number four and a little bit darker colors to point two and point three. Okay, so let's do that. Just take the cooler again, take the brightest color and copy the values here. And now I go to my color gradient here and just control V and enter these values. Press OK. Now I have to go back to my cooler and copy the next value and go to my point number four and paste it. Of course you could change these values manually just by dragging around the colors here. I will probably do this later, you know, to customize it a little bit better. But for now I just paste in these basic values here. And now I take the brown here and copy it and paste it to my green here. And now I have this golden brownish yellowish look. And now I just want to give it a little bit more contrast. So let's take maybe for the color one, I really want to take the yellow from my logo. So I will go to my logo and just with the color picker, pick my yellow here. And now I will go back to one of the frames where I can see the, the font. Uh, let's take another frame like this and now I want to um, change the colors a little bit you know this maybe I want to make it a little bit brighter so that we have a little bit more contrast here and this one let's make this probably a little bit darker even okay and this is very similar to this color, so we could make it more orange. Like this. Okay, I think that this looks quite good. So let's check it, how the final result looks. And if I go to full screen, I think in fact it looks pretty cool. So um, this is it. Now you could just render out the render composition. Of course, you can uh, enter some music. If you want to use the music that I used for my preview video, you will find the link to the music in the item description and also in the download in the links folder. And if you want to use the music, you just have to import the file and just drag it inside your layer composition. Make sure that it starts really in frame zero and render it out. So I hope that you like this template and I hope that you will create some really nice animations with it. So use very special fonts, make really crazy color designs and I am looking forward to maybe see some of your results soon. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.